Hello, my name is Josh. I'm the Product Training Manager at Yext. Today, I will be walking you through an overview of the Knowledge Graph. The Knowledge Graph is the core of your Yext platform. This brain-like database stores all of the information about your brand that you want Yext to be able to access. Yext then uses the information in your Knowledge Graph to power the platform's products and features. This video will cover how to navigate between the different components of the Knowledge Graph and give you basic information about what each of these parts do. This is what you'll see when you log into your Knowledge Graph. The top navigation bar allows you to move from the Knowledge Graph to any of the YEX products and features available in your platform, as well as access account information and the YEX Help Center. The secondary navigation bar allows you to jump between the primary components of the Knowledge Graph. We will cover each of these functions in interface order. Entities brings you to the Entity Search page, where you can see all of the entities you've added to the Knowledge Graph. Assets brings you to custom text, photo, and video assets that you can create, configure, and use across the platform. Suggestions brings you to user-suggested potential changes or updates to information in your Knowledge Graph. Connectors brings you to a list of connections between your Knowledge Graph and other external sources. Configuration brings you to a series of advanced options that allow you to further tailor the structure and design of data in your Knowledge Graph. We're already on the Entity Search page, so let's start here. An entity is the primary object for information in your Yext platform. Any information you want Yext to have access to must be configured as an entity in your Knowledge Graph. Within these entities are fields, which specify all of the information about the entity they are stored within. Yext publishes this information to the listings, pages, and answers experiences. You'll find everything to do with adding, categorizing, and updating entity information within the Entities screen, which is divided into three primary parts. The left sidebar allows you to navigate through entities based on how they are structured, including Entity Type, Folder, and Label. The Filters bar also allows you to narrow down entities based on a set of criteria including searching by keywords and other information about entities stored on their fields. Finally, the main panel will list all of the entities that you have specified in the left sidebar and the top filter. From here, you can create new entities or modify information about a selected entity, including editing its fields, moving it to a folder, deleting it, and adding or removing Yext services to or from the entity in question. You can also update entities in bulk. By checking all the boxes and specifying the selected action under More Actions, it will apply the changes to all the selected entities at once. You can further configure how entities display on this panel by selecting what columns should be visible, and how many entities should display per page. And of course, if you want to see all the information about a specific entity, or edit the information about it, you can simply click on it. Now, we are looking at the Entity Editor. As an example, this one corresponds with the Greenwood Village location of the Turtlehead Tacos brand. Within each entity is a series of fields, which you configure with the relevant information about that entity. Yext serves all of the information from these fields to the services you specify. Within the Entity Editor, there are three columns to help you navigate the information contained within the entity. On the left side are shortcuts to the different groups of fields. Clicking one of these will jump to that group. Once you've navigated to the fields you're interested in, you can click on them in the center column to edit information within those fields. When you finish editing that information, click the Save button to confirm your changes. In the right column, you can perform additional actions. The Select Action drop-down menu allows you to apply a template of pre-configured information, change the type of entity so that the fields reflect a different data structure, delete the entity entirely, or export information about the entity to a downloadable document. The Entity Summary panel shows information about listings connected to this entity, if you are using the Yext Listings product. 
If you need to commit changes to an entity to update at a set date and time, you can schedule that update here. Languages allows you to create different localized versions of an entity for use in multiple different languages. Under Licenses, you can choose which Yext services should be given access to this entity. Next up, we'll take a look at the Assets tab. Assets are your custom library of shared, pre-approved content in Yext and can be photos, text, or videos. Once an asset is created, it can be used in a variety of places throughout the platform, including on entities in the Knowledge Graph, in entity templates, in review responses, in social posts, and more. The Assets tab has two panels. The left panel allows you to create new assets, as well as filter down existing assets by type or label. The right panel allows you to edit or delete assets. As with entities, you can do this individually by clicking on an asset, or in bulk, by checking the boxes next to multiple assets. The next tab of the Knowledge Graph is Suggestions. This page provides suggested edits from external sources like Google and Facebook, if you use Yext listings, as well as your own users, if you enable them to do so via content approvals. You can then review these suggestions, approve or reject them, or assign them to somebody else. The Connectors tab shows you existing connections that exist between your Yext platform and external data sources, if you are using them as well as the ability to create new connectors. The Configuration tab gives you a variety of tools that you can use to further configure and customize the structure of the data in your platform. For more information about best practice uses of connectors and configuration, check out the Hitchhiker's Learning Tracks about the Knowledge Graph, which include interactive step-by-step -step guides on how you can structure your own optimal data model and use connectors to populate information within it. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoyed this demo. Please visit our YouTube channel or hitchhikers.yex.com for more content and continued learning.